To ensure a valid, reliable and accurate experiment, the quadrats need to be placed in a random fashion. Ecologists typically use three strategies to ensure random placement in the field. The first is known as a coordinate method. For this methodology, tape measures are ran in an X and a Y axis across a varying degree of distance depending on the site. Random numbers are then selected along these tape lines and they are used to form a coordinate somewhere in that grid that is then a completely random selection for the quadrat to be placed. Grid methodology is used by taking an aerial footage of the uh, location site and dividing it that into quadrat sizes of the appropriate size. Today it's a metre by metre, in other systems it might be different. Again, a random number generator is used to select one of those quadrats and the ecologist find that in the field, place the quadrat there and then sample as usual. Both these methods remove bias, so humans are inherently biased and often reluctant to go into certain parts of the ecosystem or have a tendency to replicate the same results again. This reduces the reliability and the validity of an experiment and so these methods overcome that to a large degree. The final choice though is called the haphazard placement. This isn't quite as random as the other two as it is inherently influenced by human factors but it is a still a suitable choice in the field. For this method, an item such as a rock or a stick is selected and thrown over the shoulder into the ecosystem somewhere behind the scientist. That item then identifies where the quadrat is placed and the quadrat is built with that item sitting in the centre of the quadrat. Haphazard placement remains the typical choice of field ecologists. Despite the human bias involved, it is a very time efficient strategy that means that vast quantities of data can be collected in a small time.